Okay, hello everyone, it's me, Page of Maces, and we're back on a decidedly vanilla server. Um, logged on here briefly for a server meeting, uh, but didn't really get a chance to look around, because like I mentioned on my Thorncraft, back from holiday, so apparently lots of things have been happening, like we've got this graveyard here, for... C, Mark Markinson, and I think Jim Wilson Jr. Yeah, and a bunch of pickaxes. So I think Log Logan built this. So that's kind of interesting. There's 64 lots and stuff. Hmm. Very cool. And I also hear he's been doing some terraforming um, over Mia. Gracious me, I said that. I didn't even want to say that, but I said it. Ooh. Interesting. Ovi's got some Ovi's Ovi stands. Okay, th those those leggings look really weird like that. Just by themselves. <laughs> Leather leggings do look very strange. But over here, he has terraformed... Where's the fence gone? Oh, it's down there. He's terraformed the, the desert because he removed most of the sand to make the Carlisle. His amazingly awesome tower block, apartment block, whatever. Did I enter the lottery? time. Check. Hang on just a second. Yes I did. Uh, apparently someone has also bought all the insult tents out of the insult tent. All the insult books out of the insult tent. So I need to restock. So a load of nuggets. Nice, some iron. So I need to start making more. At some point where people can make their own. Apparently they've been used for the um they've been uh, they've been abused by someone, I think Clan Lord. From what I saw of Logan's video yesterday. Been using them to demoralise him in the end. Which is just Head into the nether, we'll leave that lever alone because we don't want to do anything with that. Um, Ovi has left us all present in his in our chest as well. Nice. Ooh, efficiency four on breaking three. Very nice. I do need a new pick because my other two are close to breaking and I don't really want to use them for anything other than silk touching or... oh well. That's Fish's banner, that's awesome. He showed us this in the chat, but seeing it live as it were, it's pretty damn awesome. I hope you can't hear my stomach growling. I think uh, all the things I've added to 1.8, apart from the skin Customization setting banners are the best thing they've added. They are seriously awesome. Yes, ghast. You know what? This has been bugging me for ages. I really should fix this. Clandlewood's negligence. I had to. Um, that's been decarpeted for ages now. And it's just silly. And seeing as I've got these two iron ingots... Where did I get the purple dye from? I, I can't remember what's in my inventories now. I wonder what with the chance of waking up and finding a completely different inventory available to me. Due to the machinations of the wither, if she ever takes control again. Celebrate B-Ran's first stack, full stack of DV episodes. 
and I've been given a whole stack of brass blocks. Thank you kindly, B-Ran. I'll leave that chest there for the moment. Could have been the way, but not very. Um, nothing much has changed here. Like I said, I've been away, so I haven't been able to really do any work around here. But, right, where did I put all my purple sheep? They are over there, I believe. And I need to go get the levels to get the looting sword or the fire aspect sword. Probably feed them a bit more as well. I really need to stock my shop up, it's been too long. And it seems like my old way of getting in here by jumping in is probably not the best way to do it. This way, not doing any damage. Getting some more armor and stuff too. It's a bit caving, but caving's risky. Oh. Give me enough wool for a carpet. Oh, they have. Not much, girls. It's so alright, you won't be the ones that I eat. Or, uh, you know, cook for people to eat. Uh, what do I want to do today? Reacted to a bunch of stuff. Um, what's my farms doing? I feel like I should expand it over this way a bit more, or make make some more scarecrows, I think. There's a few places here that could do with scarecrowing. Or over here a bit. Hmm. Funny, you've been you've gone for a long time. Well, a week. A week is a long time. He got loose. Get back here, here. Doing this. Although, I don't remember clearing this bit up. Basically, if you're wondering what on earth I'm doing, I am trying to reduce the lag around my base by destroying all the vines. Although, it doesn't seem like I need to do that anymore because everything's working pretty well. I mean, Less frames when I'm walking, but that's inevitable. It, the weather changed my beacon colour. She changed it to black, honestly. I mean, I kind of like the colour black. It's a nice ish colour sometimes, but yeah, no. It's my beacon weather, you can't change the colour. I know you object to the use of beacons, but seriously. My roof is bad now, so. Might have some cruel and unusual punishment lined up for me. And the joys of being possessed. And she did a weird thing to my one dark oak tree. She really is mental. Yeah, I'm gonna stop recording here for a bit. I'm gonna go and sort out that bit of nether tunnel. And I think about what I'm gonna do this episode. And then I'll come back. Well, I came up for an idea of stuff to do, and I thought I'd try and tart my house up a little bit, because it's been ages since I've built it, and really, nothing much has happened to it. So I thought, well, why not have an armour stand in here, rather than my ender chest just out there, and have two two crafting benches together, because that just looks weird. I thought that look, might look a bit nicer, and it does. Um, so I thought... Yep, arm stand, but then the wooden floor showed through, so it breaks the illusion that it's carpeted. Um, so, yeah, this has happened. I don't know where the hitbox is for these things. I can't see it at all. Do they not have a hitbox? Am I now going to be stuck with an armor stand slightly sunken into my floor? Do I need to go below and piston it up? Piston it up like a sow does? Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> 
<laughs> Typical me. <laughs> oh, I just have to laugh. That looks so stupid, but that's, that's gonna be a talking point if anyone ever comes into my house. Oh, good grief. Well done, Paige. Well done. <sighs> oh, God. Um, so, yeah, made some armor stands. These are also really cool. How, how can you not think these are cool? Seriously. It's a bowl. Okay, that's how we just put them on just right click. I see. There's a nice hat. You can be stuff that the guy's fixing. I believe I've got a load of boots. I've got a pair of, yep, got a pair of gold boots and I've got a gold helmet as well. Okay, that's how I take them off. Alright. Easy enough. There. I think that's what the blacksmith blacksmith mouse is fixing. Fixing all the things, I'll get another one. Let's put it there. Kind of looks like a blacksmith. Hmm. I wonder if I can name that. This is better. Do they seriously have no hitbox? Um, I think I found a bug. But I'm not sure. If I had a head. Then that would look a lot like a blacksmith. That would be really cool. But the only heads I know of are in the Withers place, and I don't want to go near there. I don't want to go back there again, and I know that I will take damage when I come out the portal. So, let's just focus on stuff that we can do in Castine. Very nice, I think that suits that a bit better, since it's made entirely of jungle wood. What do you guys think, or should I go back to these doors? Um, and one thing I know I don't have any of, despite being on here for my 53rd episode now, um, or thereabouts, is I don't have a single bit of birch wood. Thankfully there's a birch wood forest not, not too far away. So we'll go and walk to there. And um oh yeah, I do have one announcement. I have I am now over four hundred subscribers. So welcome everybody, the new people. Hope you stick around, hope you enjoy. It's been it's it's been an amazing journey so far. Here's to four hundred more, eh? <gasps> Baby kitty! Baby also lot kitty. I'm getting more ocelots. Yes! Maybe I'll be able to tame a cat. That would be awesome to have another kitty. I do very much miss Cecil. He was an adorable kitten. Oh, there's an escaped sheep over there. I have to be really careful in these jungles. I do not want to take a jot of damage. Um, um, I guess one other thing that I wanted to talk about, although I generally try to stay out of topics like these, mostly because I am not very informed on certain stuff, or I don't really understand it, is the um, the rumour going around that Microsoft has bought Mojang. And how people have been talking about it, being very negative about it, saying that stuff like that. Um, to be honest, my opinion on it is that it still is just a rumour at this stage. We have not heard anything from either party to dispel or validate, I think is the right thing to say. Yeah, validate the rumours at all. I, I to be honest, I have no idea where these people, where the where the people that it started with even got this information from. 
Well, some people have been saying because Notch hasn't said anything, it has to be true. When other things happened, he reacted to them and was like, nope, all false, all that bloody blah. But to be honest, I th yeah, I can't blame him if he's heard for not saying anything because people seem to jump on his back whenever he says anything. Like all the stuff with the Eula and Bucket and all that stuff. People just seem to be jumping down his throat everything he says. So I can't blame the guy for staying silent for a, a bit. But to be honest, I, I, I don't know what it me what it would mean for Minecraft if they bought it. Apparently we might not be able to LP the game anymore, but that's I I don't know. Until until we until we know something for sure we shouldn't really be discussing or what might happen. It does seem a bit fear mongering that uh, this thing might have happened, but again, it might not. It could all just be someone else holding around, it could have just been a could have just been an offer. You never know. We don't know these things. I am not part of the world of big business, so I do not understand much of this. I don't know if Mojang does need a big business thing, but seriously they've been indie for how many years now and they've been doing amazingly well. I don't think either thing really needs it, if I'm totally honest. It, I don't know. It it's just it's it's strange, it's just come out of nowhere. My professional forensic opinion is that someone's probably just shit stirring. And that's all it's going to be. With all these other controversies about Minecraft spinning and spiralling around, someone's obviously trying to keep the pot continually being stirred. But of course if it does turn out to be true then, meh, yeah, whatever. We have, we'll have to cross the bridge when we come to it. No point in trying to drag the bridge closer to us, you know? As I was just saying on Twitter yesterday, it's like we found... Um, like the people I've made friends with through this game... We don't need Minecraft to stay friends. This is what enabled us to be friends in the first place. It'd be great if we could keep it as... As it was, but... Times change, things change. But the only thing that shouldn't change is the fact that we're all friends. You know? That's my naive opinion on the matter. But no matter what happens, we'll still have each other. And nothing can stop us now. <laughs> and that's that's all I'm going to say now. Let's talk about happier things. Um, I've talked a bit about my trip away in Thorncraft. Uh, but I will just say those of you that don't watch that series. Um, I went away to Devon, it was a family holiday, so there was my cousins, my aunts and uncles, my grandma, and one of my uncle's dogs. No, my uncle's dog. He only has the one. The dog cute one of his too. He has a tricolour cocker spaniel who is who is pretty adorable. I, I am more of a cat person than a dog person, but if I had to have a dog, I would have his dog. So sorry, Uncle. I'm stealing the I'm stealing Rolo off you. Um, I will be putting up some pictures that I took on Imagura at some point in the future. I just need to get them off my camera. I took an amazing one on my phone that I'm not even sure I could make again if I wanted to, and I should probably not be out at night. Not in my condition. Yep, there's a spider. But what that last bird just happened? Gotcha. I want to see what birch doors look like. Of course, knowing the weather, she will probably just. What is that down there? Oh shit, there's a skelly. Wrong. You can't hurt me. I won't let you. Leave me alone. Do I have a bed out here during my wanderings? Up to it. Come on, Paige. Let's keep going. 
Um, so I went down to, so, yeah, as I was saying, I went down to Devon with my family and a family dog. A lot of fun, we went on a lot of walks, one really cool one um, that was... Last time I was here it was spiders, now it, turned, it seems to become zombies. What is going on down there? <laughs> um, so we went on some really nice walks. Uh, one walk we went on was like a coastal path walk through like just literally on the edge of a cliff. Um, there. Um, oh for god's sake, come on Paige, you know words. That, we, um, that sort of wove its way around and eventually went off to this tiny little cafe hotel place that you could see the sea from. Um, took a fairly long time to do and when we got there there were loads of little thunderbugs around that were trying to go in my drink. It's like, for goodness sake, from this horrible long walk under the pretense that I was going to go to the beach and <laughs> and then my drinks and get invaded by bugs. That was just fantastic. The walk itself was just beautiful. I have some pictures of it. It was one of those rare sunny days. And I got a little bit sunburnt. And here we have the edge of the 1.7, 1.6 generation. I'm fairly lucky to be on the edge, I think. There goes the doorbell. Mumble, mumble, mumble. Let's just ignore it. Oh, it's a chugger. I got greeted the other day by one that sounded like Tommy Wiseau, so apparently there's two of him. Which is, I find remarkably unsettling. There's a, there's a light there. Is that one of my lights? Did I put a torch down here at some point? I think so. Oh god, zombie. Come on. Up we get. See daisy. I should probably bunker down somewhere rather than be out and about in the middle of the night. Oh good grief. Oh no, I'm almost home. I know this. I know this. I know where I am. Well, I should do. I've mapped this place out very solidly, although not with a map, but in my head, you know. I wish I'd make some maps of Castine. No, I haven't. Yeah, there we go. I'll be safe in a minute. So. <laughs> Hope you guys didn't hear that. Yeah, here we go. Here's my cocoa bean farm. Welcome to Lag Central. No cocoa beans in my inventory? No, I don't. Right. That was scary. Um, what else? What else of interest happened while I was at the on my holiday? Oh, I saw an osprey up close. Um, well, not up close. There was an osprey that flew around our house that we were staying in almost every day. Had a, there was a dog fight going on between it and three other little birds. So I'm not quite sure what they were. Um, and while I was swimming at the beach, an arctic tern flew within about a metre, just over a metre. It was about how long my arm is away from me. So that was pretty amazing. Yep, bird in my face. Go to sleep. Oh, there's a hole in the floor. Right, sorry about that. Um, right, just came in here, noticed there was a hole in the floor. Not quite sure how the hell I did that. That was probably back when every I could see through the world. What book is that? That's the one I just made. Oh, that's Powell one. Right, I'll put you back. You're not inherently useful to me at the moment. Although I do need to make a new bow. There. That looks better. 
Did they ripple before? Look, look at them both. Look at my sword and my in the book. So hypnotic, like a lava lamp. So, so now we've got some birch wood. And that what took me 52 episodes to get my hands on some birch wood when I live right next to a birch forest. How embarrassing, Paige. Honestly. To be honest, I don't generally have loads of stuff. I think this... I, most of the time I generally just have valuables that I keep. I don't normally do stuff like this. I guess that's the big thing about being on a server, you play differently, you end up accruing lots of stuff. That's cool, that looks a bit sort of Japanesey. A bit pubby. Yeah, that looks more like a pub door than the other place. Yeah, that looks remarkably like a pub door. Yeah, that just has oak. You are indeed good for chopping, good for chopping. Although the dark oak would probably go better with doors, I think that that looks a lot more like a pub door. Plus it sort of has that... Mm, what's the word I'm looking for? Contrast. Contrast. It has the nice sort of contrast to it. Um, they should be full one. Or that should be dark oak. I'm not quite sure. Yeah, that looks better. That looks a lot better. Yeah, I like that. It's a good look. Oh god, there's a zombie over there. Also, I need to talk to you man about getting rabbits. You can have a birch dog too. No, that looks a bit silly. How do you look with dark oak? It looks like it's floating. Hmm. Yeah, that looks okay, I guess. Well done, the chickens. I should probably do a bit more, shouldn't I? We probably had the same abilities that chickens did. I guess that's what feather falling is about, though. Nothing. Are you kidding me? Oh, there is one. Why not I hit twice? around randomly. I think they're going to kill because they end up trampling stuff. Well, that guy's fine where he is. Um, what else should I do? Find a place to put that birch door. Because that looks cool. I like the birch doors. I think they're well, the new doors. I like them the best. Although I haven't seen what a spruce door looks like. So let's just chop down a spruce tree. That'll be the last thing we do. So it's probably going to be a bit of a weird episode. Just trying to get back into it because I've been away for a week. Been away from a week so uh, not done any recording. All these mix and match chairs. I'll leave those guys alive just because they're strange colours. Adds a little bit of je ne sais quoi to wildlife. There's a small one, here we go. I don't have much sprucey wood either. I really like spruce wood. I guess I've been taken in by the uh How 
the heck do I have a full inventory? What is taking up space? Oh, the brown wool is. Uh, let's get rid of that dirt. Right. Okay. Also, this is somewhat apro apropos of nothing, but I have a never ending story song stuck in my head, which is just fantastic. I had it on the radio the other day, and it won't leave. It's literally squatting inside my head. It's a pain in the ass. Hey, oh, that's where we can put the last birch door. Of course. Of course. Spider too. Is there a spider in the roof? Is there a spider up here again? Sounds like there is. I need to fix the carpet in here too. It's just mad. It's going to be dangerous, I'll probably end up hurting myself and reverting back to the wither, but this situation needs to be sorted out. Do I even have torches? I don't. Oh, holy balls! Well, that was certainly bracing. Which blithering idiot did this? That page is an idiot too, honestly. You can hear all this stuff going on. And she decides to have a look. That girl has no sense of personal preservation. She really should have lit that place up. There. I'm not going to bother. Why should I? I'm the wither. Life shows upstairs. She's not done anything about that either. you would have done that a long time ago. But no. Seriously, Paige? Get out of here. Honestly, doing all these domestic tasks in this tiny little village. Honestly. It would be so much nicer just to destroy everything. But that will come once I beat everyone. And I'm not changing that beacon either. Well, I wonder if I find the taste for that I'm objectionable or not. Hmm. That was not too bad. What am I going to do now? I have to wait for someone else to come on so I can collect their head. Maybe next episode I'll come after DDM like I keep promising myself I will. So watch out DDM. I'm coming for you. We're going to have words. We're going to have words indeed.